Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I will take you to the messy world of the tech job titles. I will explain you the differences between the two main career paths, the so-called individual contributor path and the management path. And I will tell you about the job titles like team lead or tech lead, why they aren't as common as other job titles and what do they mean? What are the differences between positions like engineering manager, tech lead or staff engineer? My name is Gregory, you are watching Not Only Code, let's start! In my first ever YouTube video, more than a year ago, I explained who is a senior software developer and what are the differences between senior developers, mid-level developers and junior developers. I also mentioned that different companies have actually different titles and they might not use the word senior or junior at all. Still, up until this point, there's some kind of a standard. There's just one career ladder that takes you from the entry level position to like the most senior position within a single team. After the senior developer level, things get more complicated. More and more companies introduce two separate tracks. One is for people who want to excel as managers, so-called management track. The other is for people who want to remain technical experts and for them, in order to allow them to keep progressing, there is so-called individual contributor track, which by the way is not really an individual contributor. Those people still lead projects that can involve tens or even hundreds of people. Still the two tracks is something new. In a lot of companies, especially smaller or less technical companies, there's just one track. And if you want to keep progressing after a certain point, you have no option but to become a manager. All right, so now we have these two tracks, the individual contributor track and the management track. The starting title on the IC track is usually staff engineer or lead engineer while on the management is the engineering manager. Then if you continue going to IC path, you can have titles like senior staff engineer, principal engineer, senior principal engineer, maybe fellow engineer or distinguished engineer. While as a manager, you can see titles like senior engineering manager, director of engineering, senior director of engineering, VP of engineering, etc. Depending on the company, there might be more or fewer levels. That completely depends on the company scale and how granular they want to be with their titles. But let's start at the bottom. The split between these two tracks usually happens somewhere around senior level. And here is where the first big difference happens between companies. In some places, the move from the IC track, the default track, to management is considered a promotion. So you are a senior developer and then you are being promoted either to staff engineer or to engineering manager, depending on which track you will be focusing on. While in other companies, the first move is just lateral. So if you are a senior engineer and you are moving to management, you are changing the track, but this is not a promotion. So engineering manager might be at the same level as senior engineer. There's no standard here. Different companies have different strategies and you can check on websites like progression.fyi or levels.fyi about what level on the management track is equivalent to which level on the IC track. For example, in companies like GitLab, meetup.com or rent the runway, the engineering manager is equivalent of staff engineer. While at companies like Google or Microsoft, you can see that the manager position starts at level five at Google or level 63 at Microsoft, which is equivalent to senior developer position. Let's talk about differences between these two tracks. They are supposed to be kind of equal in terms of opportunities, in terms of the salary ranges, but they are very different in terms of responsibilities. In one of my previous videos last year, I explained that there are four different roles in the engineering teams. There's people role, process, product, and technology. And I also explained that engineering manager usually takes care of the people part while depending on what are other people in the team, whether there is product manager, whether there is tech lead, etc., they might also need to take care of different parts. Now it would be tempting to say that the staff engineer is the person that will take care of the technology part so that the engineering manager can focus on the people part. But it's not that simple. We need to also look at the scope of work in terms of the organization because not everything belongs to a single team. After a single team, we have a group of teams that might be called a track or sub department or tribe or whatever. And then after that, we can have a larger group and a larger group. Now, as a senior developer, 
usually you will be focusing on the work on a single team. You belong to a team and you just focus about what this team does. As an engineering manager, that depends. I've seen companies where one manager manages just one team. I've also seen companies where a manager has normally around two or three different teams. Similarly with staff engineers, they might be responsible for the work that happens between a couple of things. So yes, the staff engineers will be primarily responsible for the technology part, but they will also be collaborating on the processes because they need to help people to synchronize between multiple teams. They may also be involved in the product work, collaborating very closely with product managers. Now let's talk about two more titles that I have used earlier in this video, but I haven't explained them yet. Tech lead and team lead. Where do they fall on these career ladders? Is tech lead someone that is on IC ladder or a management ladder? Who is team lead? Well, as it is common in our industry, there is no standard here. So I will explain you what I know from my experience and what I found in a number of career frameworks, a number of articles that I read on this topic. What I've seen commonly is that tech lead or team lead are more like functions. Every project will have a number of senior developers and one of them will act as a tech lead. That will be a person responsible for making the technical decision within that project. But tech lead is not above the senior developers. It's still a senior developer on the career level, they are the same. But within that project, the senior developer who acts as a tech lead has additional responsibilities. Maybe after moving to another project, that person won't be a tech lead anymore because there will be another person acting as tech lead. Similarly, team lead is someone who within a scope of a certain team has additional people management responsibilities. So team lead might be someone that does one-on-ones, that helps with the performance reviews, but it's not someone who is on a higher career level. It's still a senior developer with just some additional responsibilities. And if that person wants to continue to develop their people management skill, they will later go to that management track and they will become an engineering manager. I believe that you will find these titles more commonly in smaller companies. In larger companies, you do not need to have a team lead because you have dedicated engineering manager. In larger companies, you don't need to have a tech lead because you have senior developers and then you have staff engineers that synchronize the work, that coordinate the work between multiple teams, that provide the support as architects, etc. One of the reasons why you won't find these jobs in larger companies is because they are quite complex to execute. If you are a senior developer and you become a team lead or you become a tech lead, you need to balance between the responsibilities of the work on certain features and between your responsibilities as a leader of that project or a team. And this might be more difficult to execute than becoming a full-time manager that knows that they need to focus on their management skills. If you are a person that is new to the leadership and you have to balance like 50% of the time people management, 50% of time individual contributor work, this becomes very hard. Will Larson, author of an elegant puzzle book that I mentioned a couple videos ago, has a very good blog post about it. The link is below this video. As I said earlier in this video, all these things that I told you today might not apply to certain companies because different companies may have very different career frameworks and they may be using very different titles. So when looking for a job and when applying for a certain position, it's always good to read the description. It's always good to understand what that title means in that company. And just to provide you an example of what I mean, in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, there are two companies that are hiring engineering managers. Uh, one company, Dazone, is hiring managers who are not expected to code at all. They told me that managers just don't write code. They are fully focusing on people responsibilities there. While another company, Myro, that is a high growth startup right now, they hire engineering managers and in their job description, they mention that around 50% of the time is hands-on work which means that engineering manager, as they understand it, is something that I see more commonly called a team lead. And this is not a full management role. So if you're ever considering moving to another company, make sure to read these job descriptions and maybe contact people who already work at those companies 
to understand what are the exact responsibilities that you would be doing if you decide to join the company. And that's it for today folks, if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment, make sure to subscribe to my channel and please share it with your colleagues, with your friends so that I can reach more viewers so that I can share uh, this knowledge with more people. Thanks for watching and see you next time, take care. Thank you.